Now, the wait is finally over because the acclaimed uh, Hitchcockian South African crime thriller that everyone has been talking about, Nomer Seven Dara, is finally uh, in our cinemas and it started off this past Friday, the 1st of June, after sparking massive interest with international audiences. Now, the film tells the story of a recent paraplegic who observed a murder and uses the knowledge of it to blackmail uh, to pay off debt. Now, with deception and greed around every single corner, this morning we're joined by the film producer and uh, the, uh, the film producer and maker Bradley Joshua as well as lead actress Monique Rockman. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, congratulations on the film. It's yeah. gone through an incredible journey. Yes. And this past weekend, somebody actually said to me, have you not seen No Monsieur yeah. Vendana? I'm saying to you, so, have you not seen No Monsieur well, Vendana? What was I doing? <laughs> what was I doing? But uh, Bradley, take us through this film because it's not your regular kind of uh, gangster film narrative. There, there's a, a, a different side of, of the coin and the would, story that it tells, right? Yeah, I would take gangster out of it. Yeah, um, yeah. It is a, it is a suspense thriller. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's actually, it's a universal story that could have taken place anywhere. Yeah. It just happens to take place in Cape Town. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's it's it. They are criminals in the film, um, but um, um, it's it's not a gangster film. Yeah. So I would take that out of the narrative Absolutely. completely. We're watching some of the footage here, and you were telling me earlier on that the story went from being a short film, yeah. received massive international recognition, yeah. and then went on to be developed to be a feature, feature film. film yeah. Tell me about the challenges of making that happen. Yeah, look, the the, the it actually started out. The concept started out as a feature film concept. Mm -hmm. We were approached to enter a competition and we cut it down in terms of a concept to a short film, produced the short film. The short film won about, in its lifetime, 11 awards, including wow. the best short film in South Africa, the SAFTA, in 2016. Um, we've then developed the, the feature film from that, so expanded on the story, added more characters, added more scenarios to make it more tense and suspensive. Um, and then, yes, produced it last year. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. And I'm sure when that happened, people like Monique had a big smile on their face <laughs> because it means more lines, <laughs> more character development. Yes. And, Monique, you play the character of Pam. Yes, I who do. Who is the love interest of Randall, uh, the lead male character in the story. Take me through your, your character development, what it was like being part of Noma Um, It was, it was, a, it was like the best experience of my life so far. Yeah. Um, it, I only came on for the feature film. Uh, so I auditioned for Pam and I got it and then I saw, oh, Irshad is playing Randall and mm -hmm. we know each other for like very, very long. Uh -huh. And um, uh, the emotional journey of Pam is, uh, Nosipa really wanted the romance to show between Randall and Pam because it's such a dark film mm -hmm. and uh, she wanted to show the light there. So we had to really be in love and uh, we had to be, you know, the chemistry, we had to build up and we had to trust each other. And there was a lot of times uh, when it wasn't so easy emotionally. I, w I get wow. manhandled a lot <laughs> yeah, in yeah. the film. And then, I, I mean, of course, for any woman, it's not easy to, to go through that physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. But we had an amazing stunt team that mm -hmm. was there to always keep us safe. And uh, Nosipo Domisa is an amazing director, and she always made me feel, you know, in control of the situation. Yeah. When you say having to work with a partner like uh, Rashad that you, that you trust, what is it that you had to go through in order to establish that authentic performance? Mm. Performance on film. Well, I mean, for seven weeks while we were shooting the film, we were on set like 12 hours in that small, small claustrophobic space, which was good for Randall and Pam because mm. that's what we live in in the film. But I mean, we had to be very open with each other about, like, you know, how does it make you feel to have to do this? We both married, we yes. have co children, and so it's not easy to have to be that uh, intimate with each other and mm -hmm. that in love. So we always had to check in with each other wow. and you know, trust each other if we're ever having a bad day or mm -hmm. a good day. We always had to kind of help each other through this process, and yeah. I think it shows in the film. Yeah. And Bradley, what is the, the I guess, the greater underlying message that you want people for, or to get from the film, other than the entertainment value, because yeah. at the end of the day, it is still a film. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yes, there's, the film is a suspense thriller, so there's the story that, that happens in the film, but I think more than this, I mean, I don't know if you know, but um, we've already distributed the film into North America. Wow. So it will be in theatres in North America, including Los Angeles and New York. Congratulations. Um, at the past Cannes Film Festival, we did a market screening. It then sold further into Japan, China, <laughs> Germany, Austria and Switzerland. So I think for me as a producer, the message of this film is that, you know, us as South Africans, we can actually do anything. We can compete with the rest of the world on, yeah. on, on any level. You know, I went to Cannes in 2014 for the first time, and that's the first time that I actually realized that as filmmakers in South Africa, 
um, we can yeah. compete with the rest of the world. You know, yeah. just seeing the people around there and just seeing like, but these people are no different to us. Absolutely. You know, and sometimes it's just a mindset that we as South Africans, we just need to flip that switch. Elevate, elevate. You know, and just say we are world-class citizens yeah. and we will compete with the world. Well, congratulations to both of you and to you the so rest much. of your team. And can I say it now? Can I say yes, it now? Please. <clears throat> and the Academy Award for the best foreign <laughs> film goes to. <laughs> Listen, if you're a fan of from, thrillers, then... <laughs> from your words to God's ears. Absolutely. Amen. Uh, check out Norma 7 Dergen is out now nationwide. Go out there and support our local productions.